My name is Jason Waller. Uh, I work for Origins Behavioral Health. I'm a treatment advocate as well as a motivational speaker. Uh, I'm also the founder of Waller's Wellness. Uh, I also own speakersandrecovery.com. I know the environments that the colleges are in. I know they're 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 not they're not safe. If anything, they're almost scary to see what kind of goes on. I mean, I've definitely been to some college parties, if you want to say, you know, during the the drinking era. I had a lot of friends that went to college and stuff, but um, you know, it's it's hard to say exactly what it was because at 18, I was offered and paid to party and travel the world as opposed to going to college for for baseball. I think I can relate to a lot of this on all demographics and. And Dr. Drew once told me, he said, some people have old souls, he goes, you've lived with. And that's why I can relate to somebody that's 13 years old or a guy that's 80 years old that has a multi-million dollar business that's retired as a grandparent. Um, I've kind of gone through all the natural stressors and, and, and whether it be public humiliation, suicide, you know, extreme wealth to extreme, you know, losses. I mean, you name it, I've kind of experienced that stuff. And I think that's why this program in general as a whole package, I think they touch so many different individuals. Um, collectively. This day and age, drugs are so accessible uh, and play such a big part in everyday life that people and students, especially that are trying to go get an education and not want to be a part of, you know, the drug scene or the drinking scene, and and or if they have the ism and they know it, they need to be able to have a safe place to go to and know they're not going to be judged and not feel like they're going to have you know so much stigma surrounded by them. Unfortunately, the goal through this whole program and through the people that are a part of this movement is hopefully that one day that that stigma will be removed and the shame will be will be uplifted from it. Uh, but it's to reach out. This is one of the only things that you'll experience that you cannot do alone. After getting to know Stacy and Ivana uh, for for many for many months now seen the kind of people they are. I've never seen such passionate, dedicated, motivated, high energy, enthusiastic, fierce, you know, leaders in this uh, recovery movement. It's motivational to me. It gives me that spark and gives me that fire. I mean, kudos to them, some of the most dedicated people I've ever met. And to be honest, it's sad to, that there's not more places or, or foundations like this that are supporting such a deadly disease. Without speaking about things, you can't raise awareness on it. Um, and I think it's crucial to be able to have prevention, but people need to team up as a whole and be able to partner with one another uh, and stand up for this. This is a disease and people need to understand that. You hear somebody that gets sick from fast food, whether it be Simonella or Ebola or whatever it may be, um, you know, it's breaking news on, on the television. But every 14 minutes, somebody's dying from an overdose. You don't hear about it. Um, it's just sad what, what's really come down to. I mean, what else has to happen? How many more people have to die before this is actually seen as something needs to be done? Uh, and it's gotta start with the colleges because they're the leaders, of, especially the generations below them. Unfortunately, besides one of the only programs like the D.A.R.E. program, I was not educated on drugs and alcohol and it would have been absolutely imperative and it would have probably had a big difference on my outcome in different settings of life if I would have been able to have learned that. Uh, it's a disease of denial, um, I believe. There's all different forms of addictions. Uh, for me personally, I believe all that stuff ends up being the same painting. It's just a different color, how we all get there. I'm, I, I'm 18, this is, you know, or even 17 is when I went to the first place. And I said, this is just a part of the way, you know, this goes. I'm just going through my teenage struggles. Um, but now knowing the education that I have on this with all the studies that have come out in this the last 10 years, um, I'd be much more prone to be in acceptance of this, especially knowing that this is a family disease. In today's society, I believe that what is depicted as amazing, whether it be drinking, partying, sex, all that stuff, I think that it's, it's basically a false sense of reality. I was always externally looking for things that would make me happy, being drugs, alcohol, women, gambling, whatever it may be. Uh, but today, you know, not to sound cheesy or corny, but I was able to find, you know, the big secret, which was finding happiness within myself. Uh, and if you're around people that are going to only like you for drinking or drugging, uh, and they're not going to like you for who you really are, I think you better take a look at who you're hanging out with. You're a part of your environment. Take guidance, um, you know, drop the ego, and be in a much better spot.